Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. This video is about the Lightyear One, which is one of three solar electric vehicles that have been around announced. The other two being the Aptera and the Sano Motors Scion. Um, this one's not going to be too long of a video, mainly because of this. Uh, if you look at this, the purchase price of the Lightyear One is 150,000 euros, which comes out to 175,000. US dollars and deliveries supposedly start summer of 2022. That's also when deliveries of the Sono Cyan are supposed to start and presumably when deliveries of the Aptera will also start. So these three solar electric vehicles are going to be all delivered around the same time. So if you are and also they're only making 946 of these um, to start. I suspect that they will easily sell out all 946 of these because there's enough rich people that want unique cars that they would buy this thing. I'm going to guess that most of the people um, watching this video don't have $175,000 laying around to spend on a car. But this is a very impressive car. Um, it looks, in my opinion, nice. It's very um, aerodynamic. It has a coefficient of drag of 0.2, which they claim is the lowest coefficient of drag of any production vehicle and that would be true currently but as soon as the Aptera is produced that would be the Aptera has a coefficient of drag of 0 0.13. It also has five square meters of solar panels it's all along the top in the uh, Sano Mo Scion video you saw that they put solar panels on the sides and the back of the of the car which aren't super useful and as you can tell these people did not do that they put the solar panels just on the top of the car just as on the Aptera because the top of the car is going to get um, solar radiation regardless of where in the sun where in the sky the sun is so uh, this is a very impressive vehicle if you need a five passenger solar electric vehicle and you have $175,000 laying around this is the car for you um, it, the inside looks very nice, very luxurious, and um, the energy use is very impressive for a car of this size. It's 83 watt hours per kilometer. That turns out to be 133 watt hours per mile, which is only slightly more than the projected 100 watt hours per mile that the Aptera is for a car that has more than double the passenger capacity and a significant amount of uh, luggage space, more luggage space than the Aptera. Um, the interesting things about this car is they do follow, a, to get this very good efficiency, they do many things similarly to the Aptera. They have hub motors, just like the Aptera. They've, the Aptera is using the Alafe hub motors. They are developing their own in-house hub motors and they have a body that is aluminum and composite. Uh, I believe Aptera is also going to be aluminum and composite. Aptera, of course, is a more composite. The inner passenger sh shell is just composite. This is an aluminum frame with composite body panels. But um, yeah. If I, if I had $175,000 laying around, I don't think I would spend it on a car anyway. But if you were the kind of person that just that amount of money doesn't matter to you and you wanted a solar electric vehicle, this would probably be the one to get. Um, it's very well designed. They put the solar panels in the right place. It, it, it looks nice. It's, um, it looks distinctive enough that I think that you would still um, get noticed by driving this car. The Aptera is just extremely um, different looking and you, you will definitely be noticed in an Aptera. The Sono Scion looks very generic. Um, and when people look closely and they see that it's a uh, got solar panels, you know, that may draw some notice. But otherwise, that's a very kind of um, normal looking car. So, yeah, so these are the three electric uh, so solar electric vehicles out on the market. Um, Based on the three, put your comment below, like, which one do you like? Thanks for watching.